So the question that, you know, CFOs, CEOs wrestle with is how fast do you have to be growing at any particular point in time? And the reality is there's no hard and fast answer, but, you know, there's two probable truths. The first truth is, is that venture capital investors really want to invest in companies that have the possibility of being an IPO. That's not to say that they will be an IPO. Many things get in the way, but at least going in, you want to have the hope that they can become an IPO. So that implies probably achieving a scale of around $100 million in revenue and you know maybe 30% forward growth because that's probably the low end of what it takes to go public. Given that, you know, the second reality is this, which is that most of the time growth rates decline. In other words, you grow fast at 10 million run rate revenue, you won't go as fast as 20, you won't go as fast again at 30. So growth rates intrinsically decline. So what that means is if you want to exit with a growth rate of 30% when you're doing 100 million in run rate revenue, you probably have to go in at 10 doing a significant amount more than that. You probably have to be well known of 100% year on year growth rate for, to allow you to compound long enough while that decline is happening to get to 100 million dollars in revenue. Okay, but the Mendoza line, it's obviously it's a concept from baseball it's the number it's kind of in baseball it's the batting average below which you're just not worth hiring as a major league ball player right and the same thing here is it's the growth rate below which at every revenue run rate below which you're probably not on that trajectory to go public and at which it becomes significantly harder to raise venture capital money at an attractive valuation. What it simply says is, if you're above that growth rate, above the Mendoza line, you're probably on a track for an IPO and what you've got to do is more of the same. If you dip below that line, then, you know, based on, you know, ex hundreds of examples, what it says is you're not currently on a trajectory to have an IPO, but it's not like you're doomed. I mean, about one third of companies go below the Mendoza line at some point in their life, and a lot of them are on their way out, right? But what you probably have to do as a CEO and as a CFO is think about what does it take to reaccelerate growth? And, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. What we've seen is companies, when growth dips, when it starts to decline too quickly, what you really got to do is assess what's wrong with your go-to-market, what's wrong with your product. Maybe it's a different channel that will allow you to reignite growth, but you got to take the steps to do it. Because what we have learned is if you're below that line for two years in a row, it's getting hard. And by the time you hit three, it's just not going to happen because you can no longer even attract the venture capital that it takes to fuel the growth to make it all happen. And then how does that correlate with venture capital fundraising? High growth software companies get valued highly and raise money quickly. Right? And sometimes the buzz is about the people are great, the product is great, but when you look through, for anything beyond the super early stage company, deals get funded when they have compelling growth. And you know, they'll, people will, the first two sentences they say, oh, it's great people, it's a great product. Then they'll say, one, one from 10 in two years, and they're like, I want in on that deal. Right? And that's the truth. People pay up for growth because only hyper growth at the $10 million stage will turn into decent growth at the $100 million stage, which turns into the kind of company that can go public. VCs pay for growth. There is a Mendoza line and it's all about growth.